Namaste, you guys. Uh, this is my yet another video. Uh, I, uh, this video was shot uh, in Humla, uh, Nepal, and um, uh, the lightning is not very good. And please bear with me on that. And here goes the video. Hello, you guys. Uh, welcome to my next video. Uh, and today we are here in my front yard, which is in the hostel quarters located in Stimikot, the Himalayan region of Nepal, 3200 meters. It, is. it just rained and the weather is pretty clear right now. And as you can see here, uh, there is an apple tree. The apple is not yet ripe. Ouch! The apple is not yet ripe, but uh, you can see it's green. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'm just feeling the weather today, enjoying the view. If you can soar around, there are not much, but just like foggy weather today. It's very silent here. Beautiful. So yeah, um, let's get along with the video. I'm using the Gosh Primer Oil, spraying it all over my face, and uh, doing my eyebrows, um, filling in the sparse areas, uh, and running the spoolie all over for even distribution and then I'm using the concealer as my eyeshadow base or primer this is the first coat and uh, it's not having much of coverage it's so I'm adding the next layer blending it off with my mini beauty blender sponge and for the eyeshadow I'm using the Huda Beauty palette and this is the whitish color and I'm just creating some transition here uh, it's more like a very gradient eye look where I go uh, where I increase the level of color uh, with my steps um, I could do uh, what I used the name of the colors eyeshadow, but <laughs> guess I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> yes, this uh, this palette doesn't have much of this. Uh, yeah, when I uh, sprayed the brush with the uh, Fix Plus, then. It gave me this shimmer look, but Uda um, eyeshadows uh, are like they are best applied with hand finger, like the shimmer glitter one. So I did do those glitter with my index finger. Now I'm using this nude eye pencil and uh, getting the color uh, along my lash lower lash line. curling my lashes uh, and uh, this is like the Milani fiber one uh, fiber coat I guess first uh, first we have to coat the mascara uh, eyelashes sorry and then uh, second is the uh, fiber and third is again the mascara and as you can see it did it did uh, a little to my lashes for the primer, I'm using the Palladio face primer. This this was a little hydrating, uh, not much of like uh, the pore. And for the foundation, it is Sephora by Sephora. This foundation is a little light for me, so I'm using the makeup drops by Essence dar makeup darkening drops. I'm mixing it with the foundation, and I forgot, so I'm using. <laughs> I was going to color correct, so I'm color correcting right now. Uh, I have the mark there. So I'm using a pinkish tone 
and for the rosacea kind of reddish hue uh, in the center of my face I'm using the greenish uh, color corrector and around my lips I'm just using the beige one and blending it off with my blender now I'm applying a thin very thin layer of uh, the powder face powder uh, and applying the foundation that helps uh, the color corrector not to mix and get that color correction hue in the foundation since I did the video just for the I did the makeup just for the purpose of video so I'm not going correcting like fun, doing the foundation on my neck and I'm sorry if uh, it looks very weird but it was just for the video so and here I'm I'm doing the concealer uh, mostly on my t-zone mm. Also in the, uh, what do you call that, nasolabial fold, yeah, maybe, or maybe the smile lines where I'm also doing the concealer there and blending it off with my sponge. Then I'm using this uh, eyeshadow by Gosh for the lower lash line again it's a pinkish one and for baking I'm using the no color powder by RCMA and I'm baking basically where I concealed As you can see, the lightning is like <laughs> so. I have a dry skin. I don't like to bake like bake much, but I felt like okay. Let's move on with the lips. And uh, for the lips, I'm lining my lips <laughs> with the, uh, okay. I'm getting off all the powder, ex excess of the baking, baking. And then the bronzer, I'm using the bronzer to um, chisel my nose. looks a little reddish on camera and now I'm thinking I could have been good if I use the hula one for this one for this one and with the big fluffy brush I'm running the contour uh, bronzer all over underneath the cheekbones in my temples forehead and especially not forgetting the um, hairline because the, our scalp is a little lighter and our forehead is mostly if you're out in the sun you're tanned so <laughs> and also in my jawline mm, the blush is coralie it's like more of a coral brush sorry blush as you can see you can see a lot of skin textures this is because of a what you say not enough equipments for lightning up there and now I'm highlighting my cheekbones 
little in the um, forehead area, like just above the eyebrows. Milani has done a good job with the highlighters. Um, yeah, and this is the look, guys. Um, the eyeliner really did 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 not do me good. Anyways, thank you. <laughs>